my channel so it is graduation season i'm gonna be showing you guys this base routine i didn't put too much focus on the eyes at all this video is mostly just focusing on skin this is the perfect base and makeup routine if you're going to be taking lots of pictures flash photography if you're going to be taking graduation photos this is just like a go-to staple so if you guys would like to see how i did this look right here please be sure to continue on watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe but don't forget to do that of course <laughs> and yeah let's just get right to the video or the routine or the tutorial whatever it is but <laughs> let's just get right to it <laughs> okay you guys let's get started so this is my bare face as you can see i have acne prone problem skin i have lots of acne scarring and my skin has just been acting up lately i don't know what's been going on but we're gonna get into skin prep skin prep is essential for a flawless makeup base if you want your makeup to look flawless you have to go in and prep your skin beforehand so i'm taking my micellar water and i'm using that on a cotton pad just to cleanse my face and then I'm going in with this number seven hydroluminous water concentrate and I'm massaging that on my skin. So now that we have that product nice and worked into our skin, I'm going in with my moisturizer. This is the Pons moisturizer and i'm just using that to moisturize my face so just for some extra hydration i'm going in with the makeup revolution hyaluronic fix hydrating spray and i'm spraying that all over my face just to give me some added hydration so now our skin is nice and prepped. Now we can go into our base. I did not realize until I was editing this video that I did not apply primer. I don't know what was going on with me this day. <laughs> but yeah, don't make the same mistake that I did. Find a primer that works for you and apply it beforehand. But before we go into our foundation, I am taking the elf halo glow in the shade number five and i'm just applying that all over my face i want the glow today for this look to be coming from within and i'll explain more later on in the video what i mean by that but yeah i'm just gonna be blending that all over my face with this real techniques buffer brush and as you can see it gives a flawless glow to the face absolutely gorgeous so now I'm going in with this e.l.f. cream foundation palette in the shade dark and I'm taking that orange corrector shade and just going over some of my dark marks that are still kind of peeking through. So now we're going in with our foundation. The key to a flawless base is a really good skin match. So the two foundations that I'm using, one is just a tad too dark and the other is just a tad too light. So mixing them together gave me the absolute perfect shade. So the two foundations I used were the Morphe Soft Focus Foundation in the shade Rich 27 and the Makeup Revolution IRL Filter Foundation in the shade 12. And then I went back in with the same brush that I used to blend my foundation. And then I just went over that with my beauty blender. So as you can see, my skin is looking absolutely flawless. I absolutely love the combination of those two foundations. But now we're going in with concealer. I'm taking my absolute favorite concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Golden. And I'm strategically placing this concealer exactly where I want it to be. And as you can see underneath my eyes, I did not go all the way up to my under eye with 
the application of this concealer because when we blend it up and out it's gonna blend naturally into that area so i don't like a lot of product right underneath my eyes because that can cause creasing so you want to use just enough for right underneath your eyes not too much just enough and then to blend that out, I go back and forth between my foundation brush and my beauty blender just to make sure that I get a nice flawless blend. So now I'm going in to contour my face. I'm taking the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade 148. And I applied that on my forehead, my cheekbones, and my nose bridge. And then I'm going in with another concealer. This is the Makeup Revolution IRL Filter Concealer in the shade number 7. And I applied that right in the inner portion of my eyes and on my nose bridge. And then I sprayed my face with my setting spray. And then I'm going to start to blend my contour first. And then with my Real Techniques setting brush, I am going to blend out the concealer. But when I blend it out, I'm blending it out more tightly. I'm not blending it the way we blended it in the previous step i'm just keeping it nice and concentrated in the areas that i want the most added brightness So now that that's all nice and blended, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Macaroon Liquid Lipstick. I don't know the shade name off the top of my head. I'm going to have it in the description box down below. But I'm blending that out on my cheekbones and I am using that as liquid blush. So this is what the skin looks like with all our cream and liquid products. Now we're going to go in and set everything in place. So I'm taking my number 7 loose translucent powder and I'm taking my triangle powder puff. And I'm using that to set the areas that we applied our concealer. And then after I set all of that in place, I'm going to go in and take a big fluffy brush with the same powder and use that to blend not blend <laughs> set my face and as you can see I'm patting it on my skin I'm not swiping it I don't want any of the foundation or concealer or anything like that to move around I really want it to be set and locked into place So after I set the rest of my face, I'm going to take that same brush and just use that to wipe off the remaining powder that we use to apply underneath our eyes and everywhere where we set with the powder puff. So now I'm going in with my bronzer. This is the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in the shade Coconati. And I'm taking that and applying that on the areas where we applied the Maybelline concealer just to intensify those areas just a little bit more. And I also use that same bronzer with a smaller brush just to contour my nose. So now to intensify the blush, I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution blush in the shade Pink Lady. And I'm applying that where we applied our liquid blush. Well, liquid lipstick, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so now we're going to go in and bake. I'm taking my favorite powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 25 Medium. And I'm taking my Triangle Powder Puff again. And I'm just using that to sharpen up my cheekbones and also to sharpen my nose contour. Thank you. 
So I usually let this sit on my face while I work on my eyes. And these are the eyes completed. You can really do whatever eye look you want with this look. I just did something super simple and easy. If you guys would like to see the products I used, you could just check my description box. But yeah, now that our eyes are completed, we're going to go back to the face. And I'm taking my face powder. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Wear Face powder in the shade hazelnut and I'm really working that powder in and blending that harsh line out you want to make sure that that harsh line is blended out completely and that it looks natural because when you're taking flash photography or any pictures like that anything that's light on your skin can become very reflective and it can look almost whitish. So you wanna make sure that all your highlighted areas are blended well and flawlessly into your skin. So now I'm taking my Makeup Revolution Hydrating Fixing Spray again and spraying that all over my face just to blend the powders together. And then I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender once again and just press that powder into my skin. So now we're moving on to lips. I'm taking a makeup wipe and just wiping off all the residue that was left on my lips. And then I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Eyeliner in the color brown and just using that to outline my lips. And then for my lip color, I'm taking the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Sugar High and putting that on my lips. And then after that, I'm going to get another NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie and just put that right in the middle. So for my last and final set, I'm going back in with my setting spray that I've been using this whole time, <laughs> the Makeup Revolution Super Hold Fixing Spray. So this next step right here is truly where the magic happens. I'm going in with my number seven pressed powder in the shade Light. And this powder has light diffusing particles in it, which is gonna give a very blurred, almost airbrushed look to the face as you can see. So although this is a light powder because it's so soft and airbrush like it's gonna give me a brightening effect without looking too overpowering whenever you're gonna be taking lots of photos especially with flash me personally i tend to go for a more matte highlight instead of a shimmer highlight shimmer bounces off of the light and can make your skin look white so i really like using matte highlights instead or anything that's going to give me a brightening effect but yeah i just finished off this look by applying some mascara and this is the final look you guys i'm going to show you all in a second what this looks like real time in pictures i used my back camera with flash and you guys are going to see how the pictures turned out of course makeup doesn't cover texture you're still going to see my texture but as you can see everything looks flawless and even i absolutely love how everything turned out but yeah let me know how you guys like this video in the comment section down below i love you all so much and i will see you all next time Bye.